Oh my god. Hello? Hello! Can you hear me alright? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Okay, so can you introduce yourselves? Uh, yes, yeah, so um, I'm Daniel Astles. Uh, this is uh, Matthew Phillips. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we've been playing today for Astles. Okay, so how long have you been playing as Astles? Um, I think Astles has been going on for um, about four years or something now. Um, but yeah. I mean, um, I think it's only it only launched properly. I'd say like March last year when I released my uh -huh. Live at the Nord to keep it. Oh really? Uh, and then when I started getting Matt Phillips over here involved, that was when it like I think. I'm starting to get the sound I want yeah, now, so yeah. that's been really cool. So what what would you say got you into creating music? Um, I don't know, I just had, um, I think I had a lot of ways to, a lot of things to talk about and um, not a lot of ways to say it, I think was the way, the reason I wanted to start writing songs, I found it hard to express myself sometimes through just talking, so, yeah. and then when I picked up a guitar and wrote a song, um, it was... Yeah, it was something that really worked for me. Yeah, I get that. I think once I found um, playing guitar and writing songs and writing bits of poetry and stuff, um, yeah. that was when I really got into writing songs because I had a go at painting, but uh -huh. I was never no any good at that. So <laughs> songs ended up being what um, did it for me. Yeah. Have you ever listened to the likes of Gravenhurst? No, I haven't. Have you listened to that? I'll pass you to Matt and see if you listen to them. Okay. Hello. Hi, yeah. Have you ever listened to Gravenhurst? Uh, no, I haven't. No. Okay, I'm gonna put you on to three artists that I think the two of you might like. Okay, so there's Gravenhurst. Okay, Gravenhurst. Gravenhurst. That's and one. then Sibu is the next one. I know Sibu, yeah, I know you him. You know Sibu? I know him. Yeah, I've met him a few times. He's, he's cooler than me. Yeah, he's really cool. What? Yeah, he's a good friend. No, what? He's not, he's not a good friend. <laughs> you know Sibu? Done. Done. Hello. Go on. Oh, I've met. Yeah, I met him. Um, it's a really weird story. Basically, there's this guy in Southport who used to book bands to play in um, this hairdresser's called the Lion's Den. Yeah. And um, CV did one of them. Oh really? So I saw him when I was like 14. I think it was before his album came out as well. And then. Uh, oh wow. I've got him on Facebook and stuff now. Uh, before his first album came out, so. Uh, that was pretty cool. Oh, way back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I got into him in 2013 when yeah. he was doing like sofa sounds and stuff like that. And then I saw him play twice in Bristol in this old venue called the Birdcage. Uh, they were really intimate sets. Yeah. And he was giving out cassettes at the end. Yeah, and um, he's a lot taller in real life. Yeah, he's lovely, isn't he? He's, um a really nice guy and I really liked his last album and um, the concept around it and yeah. stuff um, and the songs are beautiful so yeah he's great. Who's the third one? See if me and Matt know. <laughs> the third one, um, The Shivers, That's specifically an album called Moon Casal. Moon Casal by The yeah. Shivers? Yeah, I'll text these to you. Okay, yeah, I need to get onto these. I think me and Matt have found that like as a musician we're really bad at actually listening to music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You just get so wrapped up in your own stuff, though, like... Yeah, I think, um, but, I mean, have we got anything to recommend back? Um, Actually, that what, might be a what, good thing. What do you reckon that people watching at home haven't heard of and they should probably give a try? I think Matt, Matt's got a great underground music taste, I'd say. That's what you do, Who do you think people need to listen to? Um, I've been listening to Tennis quite a lot recently. Oh, yeah? Tennis are a great band. I think they're Canadian. Um, okay, whereabouts in Canada? Uh, Quebec, maybe. Quebec. <laughs> Montreal. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, Have you got a fly in there? Uh, oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'd have to get Spotify out. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to find some more. Yeah. I think there's a lot of good Liverpool bands, but um, I'd probably say Bill Nixon is my favourite. New artist yeah, Bill. Nice. And He's did great. you meet through Sound Station? Um, no, I met him uh, in West Kirby. Oh. Um, it was one of them things with Bill where it's like everyone's always like, oh, you and Bill Nixon should meet up and um, yeah. 
he'd like get along or whatever and I think both of us we had the conversation both of us were like oh when someone says that to you mm. you like don't want to meet mm. the person sometimes yeah. you think you won't like them yeah. so then when we both met each other we were like pleasantly surprised and oh. been best friends ever since yeah. so, Aww. so a bit of a um, bit of a love story for you there Okay, right, Matt, how did you get into playing the cello? Um, I was I was whipped and beaten as a cello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I um, my my parents encouraged me to play the cello. And I'm very glad yeah. that they did. I mean, they encouraged me to play music anyway, but it's good parenting. Um, the cho- the choice was there and I kind of knew about the cello a little bit, so I always wanted to play the cello. I grew up playing the violin, but I always wanted to play the cello. Yeah, it's bigger. It's big, bigger is better, you know. I was one of those. I played a purple violin. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I did that move. Ooh, you were that one. You okay. can't. You yeah. have to be a good violin player before you get a purple violin. Yeah, that's actually. true. You have to what? Be a great violin player before you get a purple violin. I tell you what, I was all right. <laughs> I was a soloist and a first violinist. Oh, nice. No, I think what you're doing is really cool. It just makes me want to play again and try joining an orchestra. Yeah, oh, ah, that's the goal. <laughs> that's totally the goal, yeah. Um, strings are cool. Yeah, I've yeah. still got it, you know. Do you know, would you two make music with a full orchestra or a brass band? Because that would be so cool. Talk about the lymph. You need to um, repeat there you the go. question, please, sorry. Okay, <laughs> I just want to say, would you two, I mean, I don't know if you have already, would you work with a full orchestra? Yeah, yeah, well, we did that um, with the Lymph Academy. We played oh. in the music room with the full uh, Philharmonic Youth Orchestra. Oh, wow. uh, and it was my dream come true. Yeah. To be honest, uh, it sounded really good. And um, it was weird. It was it was one of them things though. That it never got recorded or anything. I have barely any footage of oh. it. So. It's it's I don't know I kind of like it being like that because it, it um, makes it more special. I, yeah, it makes it people there saw it. Yeah. Um, but that was an amazing night. Yeah, and we did a cover of uh, Venus in Furs as well. Oh, the underground. underground. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it was pretty. I think it was something that if you told me when I was thirteen I'd have done something like that, then it'd be pretty, pretty made up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How old are you now? Um, I am 20. I was going to say 19, what? then I turned 20. Um, like you're only 20? Four days ago. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, oh so. my god, you're so young. Yeah, so I've turned 20 about four days <sighs> ago, so I'm feeling very old now. Matt's still a spring chicken. <laughs> 19 years bad. old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where ideally do you want to be in 10 years? Would you say? 10 years? 30. Yeah. Where do we want to be in 10 years? Um, I'd like to have done, I'd like to hope that I'd have done an album by then. Oh, of course. <laughs> that'd be like a, yeah, that would be a nice a goal, I think. Um, yeah. Maybe, God, I was going to say I have a house, but <laughs> I think there's a lot of pressure on myself. But I just think, yeah, yeah I'd like to have done an album. Um, if you did have a house, would you have a home studio? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think I've got a very um, distinct image of um, the house that I want in my head uh, and it definitely includes um, a home studio. Yeah. Well, what about you Matt, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh, in 10 years time when I'm 29, just turning 40. <laughs> um, um, I hope I'm still working with Dan. Yeah. That'll be, that'll yeah, be, that'll reality, be nice, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you will be. I quite like to play in an orchestra. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see how that goes. That'd be really cool. That'll happen as well. Do you think you'd be in some sort of, I don't know, Philharmonic Orchestra and maybe tour the world? Oh, oh, you, oh. well, it'd be nice, but you've got to get into that from, mm. from a very young age. Yeah. 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 Which is a shame, really, but um, maybe maybe I'll be really good in 10 years, and that's a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I hope I'm still playing with Dan. I will be. Yeah, you, you will definitely be. will be. Yeah, yeah. Dan can play on my. Yeah. Solo cello album as well. Yeah, I hope Matt. I hope I hope that Matt um, is arranging the strings for my second album. That Aww. is what. That's what we're hoping for. I think. Yeah. Oh, and I saw you were presented with an award recently at a uh, Lymph. Was it? Can you tell us about that? Oh uh, yeah. So this year I won um, the Spirit of the Lymph Academy Award, which is. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was explained to me as it was given to people who um, 
show like dedication and love for music in Liverpool. So that was really nice. Um, mm. It was a big surprise that even my mum was in on, which is really strange. Like um, I got told to just come to the festival on the Sunday, and then next thing you know, I was on the main stage. Oh, you know, so it was a big surprise. That's really sweet. Yeah, well, I got told I was doing an interview for something or other so I put on like quite a small <laughs> shirt smaller than I look right now anyway. but um it was yeah it was really nice um I think all the people at Limp are great uh, at nurturing mm -hmm. talent and uh, yeah it was really nice to be awarded or something like fabulous. that fabulous well we're gonna wind down it's an absolute pleasure to having you on it's been great we've had a lot of fun oh i'm glad so can you tell everyone what song you're playing for kate to abuse band in a box uh so this song's called um gray skies uh and it should be coming out soon it might already be out by the time we've seen this video <laughs> it could so, be um, yeah thanks very much and where can people listen to your stuff online? um you'll be able to find it at astles which is a-s-t-l-e-s or castles without the c <laughs> um slash facebook slash all the Twitter social and, you know all that <laughs> usual malarkey well thanks again and uh, I'm gonna say bye yeah thanks very much bye bye, bye. thanks for having us every night every day
think. Definitely. Uh, I think maybe. Do you reckon we just swear at the end of it? Um. Yeah, I think we